What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris Infinite and with the growing arms race of larger machines, Phoenix base assaults and more on the horizon, the need for us to stockpile large quantities of resources is becoming more and more prevalent and real in the world of Generation Zero. Luckily for us, just recently we've been given the ability to store our ammunition and medical supplies in massive bulk in a couple of containers for base building. So I thought with us now having the storage base we desperately need moving forwards that I would give you dudes five different types of storage bases that you could build in Generation Zero. If you happen to like this type of video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It goes a huge way in helping my channel grow and showing me where I should put my effort towards in content creation. Because this is definitely the type of video I could do a couple more of here if y'all would like to see it in the future. Now, without any further ado, let's get into these base builds. For our first build, I wanted to put together a build that you could complete in under two minutes, and I actually managed to get two of those set up for this video today, so they're both storage systems that you could build very, very easily. This one's focused around the 50 BMG sniper tower, and what you're going to want to do is place down your tower in the first place, and then take your tall walls and line around the tower. Then you're going to take some pillars and put those pillars right at the end of both of the walls that you put on the sides. Take more of your tall walls and place them on either side of the two pillars that you just placed down. And then take two more tall walls and line them along. And that's where you're going to put down your next couple of 50 BMG towers. So let's pull out those towers. Get them on down into each of the spots here then we're going to cap this little storage station off with a couple more uh, tall walls here on the sides take a couple tall walls put them onto the sides of the sniper towers grab the last of our tall uh, pillars pylons here and boom there you go storage system done now, this is a pretty awesome, compact little storage system. Not only because it gives you a wicked light show from it, but also because you can store 20,050 BMG in a small little storage system that takes 15 walls, something like that. It's, it's ridiculously cheap to build this storage system, and the amount of 50 BMG you can store in here is obscene. And again, you could build this in under two minutes, so even if you don't like base building, this can still massively benefit your player experience here in Generation Zero, and it just takes less than two minutes of your time. Now for our next build, we're going a little bit more complicated with a submerged storage system. This utilizes the benefit of the elevation we can gain from scaffolding, as well as utilizing the brand new storage systems. You'll want to start off by placing down your five ammunition storage supplies in a row. Then you're going to want to take your scaffolding and have a lip off the end of either end of your row of storage stations uh, by a gap of two. After you're done filling in the gaps in between your two ends of scaffolding, having scaffolding run along the entire row of turrets, you're then going to take more scaffolding and use that to cap off the ends, kind of creating a proper circuit for you to run across as you refill your storage systems. Next up, you're going to place down your medical trailers as this storage system is an all-in-one. You're going to place down your first medical trailer at the end that you don't plan on using as your on-ramp because the other end will serve as your way of getting on top of this. Then you're going to take your next couple sets of trailers and you're going to place them down at the second set of two uh, scaffolding. As these trailers are six long, you can place them along two scaffolding rather evenly and uh, placing them down at the second set keeps everything symmetrical and nice looking. Then you're going to take your scaffolding and run it along the sides and you'll have just enough space inside to put down two more scaffolding, creating even boxes around your trailers. Once you've got the other side boxed off, you can go off and finish off the at one end where you left your medical trailer. In order to do this, you're just going to start building off the outside of the ring and just bring it along the outside of your medical trailer, again, giving you the opportunity to create 
a nice and even box around it. Then we're going to create a couple on-ramps, and in order to make this, we're going to come down to the far end where we didn't place a trailer, and we're just going to place our ramps coinciding alongside the piece of scaffolding here. And boom! With that, your storage system is now complete! You have yourself a submerged storage station at your base. And this is actually, it's really cool. It provides a much more unique storage system for you to interact with, being able to access all of your supplies from up top. It's also very ergonomic and keeps all of your supplies in this organized close proximity. So that means that offloading can be very routine and very fast and very snappy. Then, it's also just a really cool looking storage system. The aesthetic of scaffolding with the ramps and the open spaces creates this really awesome design that again is really ergonomic with all of your storage systems in an incredibly close proximity. Next up, we're going with probably the coolest design out of the bunch today. Uh, we're going with a trading outpost. So you're going to want to start off by building this base primarily out of cement, and it's a pretty hefty cement uh, dose that goes into this. Then you're going to want to take your cement turrets and place them down in this kind of crisscross pattern here uh, in order to just create a little bit more shape and depth to the trading outpost that you're going to be building around it. If you want to save a decent chunk of cement along the way while building this, you can replace your turrets with the typical wooden ones. Then you're going to place down your medical trailers and you're going to have a gap of one in between your start of your medical trailers and the turrets. And you're just going to place down four medical trailers here because the fifth one kind of gets in the way and makes things uneven. Then you're going to take your pylons and place them at the corners of your turrets. In order to save on cement along the way, you can use the tall metal Soviet pylons uh, instead of the shorter cement ones, because the shorter cement ones take a pretty hefty investment of cement, even though ultimately the cement ones do look better. I'm really close to having enough cement stockpiled to build a full, like, hyper expensive cement base. Uh, I'm really excited for it, so stay tuned, I'm probably gonna make a video on it. So for the next building step, what you're going to want to do is take your tall walls and line them along lengthwise to the pillars that you just set up. Then you're going to place down pillars at the uh, ends sticking outwards and line your tall walls just along and they will fill that gap evenly. Then you're going to place down more corner pillars and continue building along with the tall walls. You'll be able to take these along for... Uh, I believe six of them in a row and then you'll have a lip of one over the edge of your trailer here. So again on the other side put down a pillar then grab the tall walls and place down six of these. Then we're going to place our pylons at the ends capping them off take our tall walls and put these along. We're just going to put two on either side here. And then we're going to take our pylons. Again, place these down. Take one tall wall here. And then we're going to put in the 3x3 three three, uh, door. It's nice and compact and works really nicely in here. I, I really enjoy the single wide door. Now we're almost finished, so we're going to place in the trading booth itself. Uh, we're going to take the Soviet wall with the little window and place that one down. We aren't going to open that window though, it's just going to serve as a solid wall. Then we're going to place down our actual trading window, place down a chain link fence so that uh, people could see you kind of go back into your storehouse, a pylon to cap that off. And then we're going to grab the uh, single door and place that in, and that will be your way of getting into here. Now, personally, I prefer doors being set to manual, uh, but that's kind of just my own thing here. And there you go, your trading booth is now complete. Uh, you could make all of your trades and dirty deals from the inside. You have your little window to, you know, make your sales out of. And then you can head on back to the inside area when you've come to uh, like an agreement or whatever and grab whatever supplies that you're taking out of here uh, in order to do your trade.
Now, player-to-player -player trading in Generation Zero is very, very simple, but if you're a player that plays online quite a bit or maybe is on the Discord and does a lot of trading, you can build yourself one of these and really leave an impression on the person that you made a trade with. Okay, so taking a step back from the complicated builds here a little bit, we're going to build ourselves a trailer park. Uh, in order to get this started, you're going to want to place down your medical trailers first, with a gap of one in between them. Starting from the edge of the first trailer, you're going to want to make your way around with your bushes and just line them around the hole outside, making a kind of U-shape outside of the trailers. If you want to place these really quickly, you could just hold down your placement button, uh, whether or not it's right trigger or left mouse, uh, and just hold that button down and place things in full auto. It could be a little bit chaotic, but as long as you get yourself going in a straight line, it could be actually pretty quick. Then down that gap of one that you left in between all your trailers, you're going to fill that in with bushes as well. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to place down an extra hedge on the edge, uh, on the outer edge of the hedges. Uh, then we're going to come across and have a gap of four and place down our next hedge and head on back and kind of create that extra stopping point uh, so that we know where to bring our hedge line to after placing down our ammunition storage. Then we're going to take our 762, the 4x4, four four, and uh, we're going to come on over and use the door of the medical trailer in order to kind of center this and make this even. Then we're going to pl place it just in behind that line that we made with the hedges. Now you could also do this with the 50 BMG. Uh, in order to do this, you just want to go kind of more from the center, so st one step over from the door, uh, and you'll wind up with an off-center kind of thing, and you could do kind of a mix of the two, but personally for myself, I prefer just the 4x4s. Then you're going to want to take your hedges and just literally complete that line. Uh, you'll, you'll want to go in a row of seven on the outer line just to make sure that everything's symmetrical and even, uh, but then after that, it's literally a matter of connecting the dots. Don't forget that you'll also want to throw in those dividing hedges on the ammunition storage side uh, to keep everything looking even here. Then on the inside, you're going to take the uh, hanging lanterns and you're going to bring those along and just kind of shuffle them around as you place them at the edges of the hedges. Totally optional piece, you could place in doors and a little bit more decorations around this place to kind of personalize it for yourself. And once that's done, you have yourself a really awesome and easy to use storage system. Having all of your ammunition on one side and all of your medical kits on the other side allows you to kind of like work through either side and fill up each storage station as you go along. Again. I just want to stress how obscene this amount of storage is, too. You could store a million 762 and an obs absurd amount of medical supplies in this little trailer park. And speaking of medical supplies, one last build that you could do in under two minutes. So we're going to place down our first medical trailer, and then off of its corner, we're going to place down our next couple medical trailers, and on the other corner, we're going to do the same thing, creating this kind of, again, U-shape of uh, medical trailers and storage systems. Then we're going to take our uh, tall walls, and we are going to place those along the outside of our medical trailers. You could save on resources by placing down doors if you want along the uh, six long side of the trailer. But personally, I kind of prefer the look of just rows of tall walls. Then we're going to take our tall walls and complete off the other side as well. And then for the front, we're going to place down two more tall walls on either side. Grab out our pylons here, tall pylons, and place those down, creating a bit of an entrance there. Take our tall pylons and fill in this corner uh, arrow triangle thing. And that is that! The whole storage system done! Under two minutes, man. 
With storage systems that are this easy to build, that offer this insane amount of storage, literally no one in the community can complain about storage problems anymore, other than maybe what your character can carry. But in terms of what we can store, we can store borderline, like, mental amounts of resources. And again, you can put together these storage systems in under two minutes. Again, with our growing arms race of base assaults and base defense and brand new machines that have deadly capabilities like the wolf and the lynx with their return fire bug and stuff, you're going to want crazy amounts of medical supplies and ammunition to take on the growing threat. So there we go, my dudes, five different storage bases here in Generation Zero. And I want to know, have you built yourself a storage base yet? Uh, just since my last video on how we have almost infinite storage here in the game. I want to know in the comments down below. And uh, if you've watched to this point or taken on any builds that I've given out here in the video, uh, you're an absolute legend. Uh, but I just want to say here at the end, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.